Hey guys, Tech Manager with a video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you how to fix if your iPhone is shutting down unexpectedly or randomly without anything going on. Now, there's a couple reasons why this is happening, and we're going to try to figure out the issue and show you guys a couple things you can do to try to fix it yourself if it's not the actual phone that has a hardware issue. So, the reason why you might be experiencing random shutdown or unexpected shutdown on your iPhone it could be a couple reasons first one it could be that the phone is uh, in a low temperature or on a high temperature area so what I mean by that if it's in a freezing temperature which iPhones if it's in a freezing temperature the battery can operate optimally so you want to make sure the phone is at a nice a cool and warm temperature. Now the other goes is if it's an extreme hot weather you want to make sure your phone cools down because when it's extremely hot right the battery again can't operate so you want to find a cool place wait till again it either warms up or cools down depending on what temperature you're in. So one thing is a quick uh, tip for you. The next thing is if your battery is running low it probably is time to charge it especially if it's red under 10 percent that's not ideal you want to make sure your battery is charged again. The other thing you also want to check out in your settings here into your battery is the battery health here. So if you click on battery and then battery health, as you can see this is 100% which originally when you get a phone that's what it is at. Now let's say this is at uh, below 80%. Apple generally recommends changing or replacing the battery which you can take it to the Apple store and they can help you replace it for you. If it's under 80% again it could be not getting the best performance for you and shutting down randomly even if let's say you have 15 or 20 percent and all of a sudden it shuts down on you so consider replacing the battery itself and the other reason why your battery might be or your iphone might be randomly shutting down is if you recently had a big water damage to it nowadays most iphones are waterproof but let's say your iphone was cracked somehow or there was a chip somewhere and water got into it inside the uh, internal hardware and that could be causing faulty circuit and then your phone randomly shuts down in that case again water damage is one of the hardest ways for your phone to become faulty and at that point you just have to replace the phone itself and lastly moving on to some of the fixes you can do that could be software related for your phone is starting with the force restart of your phone so on your iPhone here, iPhone 8 and above, to do a force restart, you do volume up, volume down, and then hold that side button just like that. Make sure you press volume up and down really quick and then hold that side button just like that till the screen goes completely black. As you can see, I'm holding it down still. I'm going to wait till I see the Apple logo reappear again. And once it does, I let go of my button. And you might be wondering what this does. What this does is slightly different from a normal turning on and off it does is it completely shuts the phone down and then reloads the code again one more time so if there is any software related bug that's going on or issue going on it will resolve those issues for the most part it will not delete any of your personal data like photos videos apps anything like that then now the next thing you want to check after that is in your settings here go to general and then you want to look at background app refresh so what happens is when you download a tons of apps, right, all of these apps are constantly looking to get data for you running in the background on your phone here. And you might not need that data right away because once you open the app, that data again refreshes anyway. So I recommend it's just turning that off completely for the app or pick and choose the app that you want constantly getting the data refreshed. Like if there's a maybe an app like a maybe the stock app itself you might want to constantly be notified you can keep that on but for the most part if you have a lot of apps that means a lot of processes happening in the background constantly draining your battery out and possibly causing that unexpected shutdown on your phone now the other tip I have for you guys is in the settings here if you take a look in the battery itself right if you're running low on battery the other thing you can do is turn on low power mode it reduces your phone's um, functionality but again it allows you to save battery especially if you randomly experience shutdown it will slow down that but keep in mind if you do turn that on you'll see a reduction in the performance of your iPhone unless you turn it off just like that but another thing to test out for yourself it depends on of course your case how your phone behaves now the next thing you want to do is over time we open a bunch of apps and if you open them up they're running somehow in the background so we're going to go ahead and close out all the apps that you had ever opened so I slide up like this and I just swipe up all the apps just you know on the daily 
basis just to keep making sure that those apps that are running in the background isn't draining out the battery or causing some sort of unexpected shutdown here. Along with that here, you also want to make sure all of your apps are up to date as well. What I mean is if you go into your app store, right, and click on your name up top here, and then You'll see here all of these apps there's currently 24 I need to update and the reason why you want to update your app or well, you know most of the time is because sometimes if you're running an older version of the app it might have any sort of like performance or bug fixes that needs to be updated with the newest version of your phone's iOS system so you want to make sure those are up to date so that those bugs aren't impacting your phone because if there's a major bug possibly could be causing their phone to shut down because the app isn't up to date with the latest version of the software. So you can click on one at a time or hit that update all and it'll update all of your app for you. Along with updating all of your app, you also want to make sure that if you haven't updated your phone, it's a good idea to update your phone to the latest iOS version. And in order to do that, you go into settings, you go to general, in the software update and as you can see here it'll load here now if it says iOS up to date you're good to go but if there's an update out it'll say download and install you click on download and install and make sure you're in a good Wi-Fi and you know, make sure you have enough time so generally it takes about half an hour to 45 minutes on a bigger update but you also want to make sure that you're in a good Wi-Fi and your phone is at least 50 percent or more and making sure your phone is up to date it's always a good idea especially to make sure that the phone is running optimally and that's one of the big things that Apple will recommend once uh, if you were to reach out to them as well now the next thing if you're still having the issue it's time to go into your settings general and then all the way down here where it says transfer reset iPhone and then the very first option reset and you want to reset all of your settings the reason why you do that over time we set up a lot of settings related with our network keyboard home screen layout location and privacy those settings are from the default if they have a different setting they could be impacting the software of your phone and it's a good idea to reset all of your settings but keep in mind before you do that this will not delete your personal data like photos videos or apps or anything like that all this will do is reset all of your settings like if you set up network settings things like Wi-Fi settings VPN settings that will go reset if you reset if you added things like keyboard dictionary keywords those will get reset home screen layout if you have a custom layout that will also get reset any custom location privacy settings that you have all just settings themselves again one of those last resort things that you want to do if you're still having issue lastly if you're still having all this issue the next thing you want to do is the biggest thing is backing up your phone to your computer or iCloud and then doing a factory reset by going to settings general and then transfer reset iPhone and erase all content and settings which before you do that make sure that you back up your phone to iCloud or your computer and then you erase your phone and then restore from the backup you have and that does is allows the phone to reload the software itself one more time and then again if it's anything software related and causing those random unexpected shutdown it will you know, help you resolve that issue again that's a more in-depth video again one of the last things you want to do make sure you guys check out all the video detail exactly how to do that because it's important that you back up before doing any sort of uh, factory reset and lastly if none of these tips work most most likely the reason why it is shutting down randomly it's because of faulty hardware itself in that case contact Apple they might be able to run a diagnostic for you and help you out and figure out what's going on with your phone. So I hope this video was helpful in fixing your random shutdown of your iPhone. If so, please make sure that like and subscribe button. Also share with us if you found a better way to fix that as well and your experience. See you guys next time.